Hello, amazing bears. I'm so happy to be with you today. So, so far for this unit three, we've learned how to use subtraction by using a hundreds chart. And we've learned how to use subtraction by using an open number line. Today we're using subtraction by decomposing numbers into number bonds. Does anyone remember what decomposing means? Right, it means to break down. So today we are gonna be breaking down numbers within our number bonds. Does anyone remember what a number bond looks like? Right. So remember in a, our addition unit, we had something that looked a little like this. That is a number bond. So our I can for today is I can decompose a two digit number into tens and ones to help with subtraction. Why is this important, my friends? This is important because it's gonna help us with our mental math. Isn't that amazing? It's gonna help us solve math problems in our head without even using a pencil or paper. That is amazing, my friends. So, I am going to show you how to use a number bond to solve the subtraction problem 46 minus 24. So I'm gonna start by writing down our subtraction problem. When we subtract, the biggest value is always written first. So 46 is bigger than 24. So I'm going to write 46 first. When I use a number bond to help me subtract, I put the smaller number into the number bond. So let me finish writing 46 minus 24. And remember, I put the smaller number into the number bond. So then your problem should look like this so far. All right, to make subtraction easier, I'm going to decompose and break apart the number 24 into tens and ones. So how many tens do we have? What is it worth? Twenty, good job. And how many ones do we have? What is that worth? Four. Amazing job. So, I am going, so now that we have broken apart our 24, I am going to subtract my tens from my 46. So, it's gonna be 46 minus, I gotta look at my tens, minus 20. And then that's gonna be the same thing as skip counting backwards by 10. So 36 and 26. So this is going to leave us with 26. Now I'm going to subtract my ones by counting back by one four times. So what's 26 minus four? 25, 24, 23, and 22. And that would be our answer.
Hi friends, now we are going to do some review problems from our worksheet. I'm going to do the very first one, 68 minus 46. So, we have our number bond here. Remember what decomposing means? To break apart. So we're going to break apart the tens and the ones. How many tens do we have? What is that worth? 40, good job. Then how many ones do we have? What is that worth? Right, it stays the same, six. So now, just like our previous problem, we are going to subtract 68 from our tens. So 68 from our tens, we have four tens. So we're gonna skip count backwards four times, starting from 68, so 58, 48, 38, and 28. So then I have 28 minus six. Now all I have to do is count backwards by six. So 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. So then my answer would be 22. Did amazing. Now we're going to do one more problem from our homework. You all are doing an amazing job. All right, our next problem that we are going to do is also at the top of our practice sheet. It is 62 minus 42. So, we're doing the same thing. So, how many tens, what is a tens worth? How many tens are there? Four, which makes 40 because it's in the tens place. Then how many ones do we have? Two, good job. So just like before, we're going to subtract our first number by our tens that we broke apart. So there's four tens. So we're going to go back and skip count backwards because we're subtracting. We're taking away. But what makes it easier is that we're counting back by tens. So let's count back by tens. How many times? Four times, good job. So, 52, 42, 32, 22. Which leaves us with 22 minus subtracted by two. What is this? 22 subtracted by two. Yes, it's 20. So our answer is 20. I hope this made sense to you and that this helped you understand this concept a little better. Remember, we do have power hours every day or we do have math help meets. If you need help, we are all here to help you. Have a great day.